So I'm, this is your late out of date NXT deadline review. The show is actually not too terrible. Oxion defeats Nate and Fraser in the kickoff. I don't care. Oh look, CM Punk appears on the AEW. I mean, not AEW. C, uh, fucking NXT. Uh, Shawn Michael comes out and says, "Are you ready?" And then CM Punk comes out, and CM Punk says, "Like you know, I have to choose you to roll us back to NXT." And that's basically all he said. So he was just there for basically no reason. He basically just wasted everybody's time. But get it, he was there. And he's like, oh, NXT, NXT. He's like, why would he be an NXT? How would that make any fucking sense for him to be an NXT? Come on. Come on, people. It may make no sense him being an NXT. Come on, people. Like, really? NXT? Him being NXT? Like, give me a fucking break. I hate the whole tease. Like, why not? Like, I mean, I would have rather, like, him just appear... Like, how he's been, has been WWE a long time. We wanted to see the new faces that are up and coming. Maybe some fucking person, like, some heel could come out. And then it could have led to some shit with CM Punk. You know, it would have been fine. But no. I don't know. Basically, uh, Punk comes out, get it? He's wearing a uh, Bret Hart uh, sweater. And they say, oh, how, oh you know, I, I, I wish I had your merch. I, I, you guys made peace, just like I made peace with Triple H. And they said, you know, I, I want to take a picture of my heroes. Let's take a picture. And yeah, it's like, I don't know. Let me take a selfie. I don't know. It, it was okay, funny, I guess. I mean, but it's just like, really? It, it's like not much happened. It's like no real point, you know? Anyways. Dragon Lee defeats Dr Dominic Mysterio. The match had, like, I think a few botches. But the match was actually not too bad. So Ray Mysterio was on commentary. And, you know, and he was rooting against him. So I'm like, holy shit. But the match was actually not bad, man. The match was actually a good match. Uh, even though despite some uh, botches, but it was all right. Um, oh yeah, uh, NXT AEW happened before NXT, whatever, or d during NXT. But uh, Davenport won the Iron Survivor Challenge. The match was actually not bad for a women's match too. Uh, who was in this match? Just Tiffany Stratton, some NXT, some up and coming breakout bitch named Kiani Jordan or something. Uh, Fallon Henley, and uh, Lash Legend. She won. She looked good, not gonna lie. I mean, I think I'm liking Blair Davenport in a sense. Like, you know, she's, she's attractive in some sense, and she's not, like, terrible. I don't know. But then after the match, she calls a live Akira. A live Akira comes out, poses, and Cora Jade is back and attacks her, posing, and she looks good, too. Oh, yeah, but uh, she meets her hero because they met, like, uh, in a clip, like, years ago when she was, like, a child, so, yeah. It's good for them. Trick Williams, uh, not, oh no, Carmella Hayes attacks, uh, no, he defeated, uh, what's his stupid, Lexus King. And then, uh, I'll get it, he's conflicted. Lexus King, like, says, oh, I did not attack Trick, but thanks for the spotlight. So basically, you're okay with losing, like, what the fuck, whatever. Uh, Trick, before this match, Trick and Melo showed, uh, met each other, and, like, you know, oh, they're cool, and whatever. And Trick, in the Iron Survivor Challenge, one, uh, he defeated Braun Breaker, D Jack, uh, who else? Um, uh, I think was it Tyler Bate, Tyler Bate, and uh, some other mother. Oh yeah, some the Josh Briggs guy. I don't know some cowboy motherfucker. The match was actually not too bad too. It was actually was really it was actually good as well. Um. Well, yeah, before the match, uh, like, the Cowboys uh, were battling the fucking Metal 4, I don't care. Kiana James, if he's Roxanne Perez in a steel cage match with the help of Izzy Dim, some new chick who was pretty cute. And uh, with the assist, I don't know, because like, she was, like, helping her, like, from the brawl. Anyways, uh, yeah, she'll, yeah, she won the steel cage match, Kiana James. The match was not too bad for a women's steel cage match. And the main event, um, what's his name? Freaking... Yeah. Uh, they're driving off the feast. Baron Corbin. The match was not bad. I didn't hate the match. Um, thought Baron Corbin should have won because it would have been more exciting. I don't really care for uh, Ija dragging off. I think he's kind of boring. It just, you know, but hey, uh, he won. Uh, freaking Baron, uh, Idra. And then after the match, Rick William comes out with Carmelo Hayes walking slowly outside. And they're both stand, stand off, uh, staring at each other from their side. And yeah. That's NXT for you. Wasn't a bad show, uh, actually, you know. So there you go. That's NXT Deadline. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Sorry for a, lo a long wait, but hey, that was NXT. It was not a bad show or, or Deadline. Definitely better. It, and it, this show proved that it needs to be more in the fucking arenas because it, it helps the show better, honestly.